Well, right now, police are trying to figure out why someone took an iconic bell from an elementary school. Action News Network reporter Danny Mastin is live in Gridley at the campus. Danny, is the decoration pretty valuable? While no one could profit from it, it is invaluable, Haley. Now take a look. This is where the bell is usually located, right in front of the school. It is about 150 years old. It was first placed inside of a bell tower to bring kids in from recess. Manzanita Elementary, one of the oldest schools in Butte County, is missing the one thing at the school that had stood the test of time. A symbolic bell that normally sits outside the front of the school gone. The school caught the suspects on their security cameras and Rogers tells me the suspects pulled up to this area right here with the trunk to their car already open before dismantling the bell, putting it into their car and driving away. Take a look. You can see the suspects walking up to the bell with tools in their hands. Now an empty space where it hung for decades. First shocked, sickened, mystified and baffled. For 31 years, Katherine Walther has been teaching second and third grade students. I would hope that they took it because it's so important to them, the bell itself, but I kind of think it was just some sort of random thing that someone thought they could perhaps make some money off of it. She tells me it is more than just a bell. Right now, I even have um, fifth generation students in my class, so their parents grandparents, great, great, great grandparents, they all went to this school. And so the bell is kind of the thing that ties, ties all of those generations together because they all share the memory of the bell. Principal Gary Rogers says the bell is not worth any money, therefore doesn't understand why someone would want to take it. Anytime somebody does something to schools, you never really understand it. Like why would you take something from a school and kids? Um, to me, it's unfathomable. There's no reason you would do something like that, especially to kids. It just doesn't make sense to me. The principal, Walther, and students all hopeful the bell will be returned back to its home soon. Butte County Sheriff say they are actively looking for the suspects and say to call the sheriff's office if you have any information about the thefts. Live in Gridley, Danny Mastin, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Principal Rogers tells Action News Now in their classes, students have been making signs that say, bring our bell back.